This is certainly not a sight you want to see in your neighborhood. Hundreds of trash bags piled up in the front and backyard of this home in the Fairfax district. It's raising a lot of questions, including why the homeowner is allowed to do this in the first place. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Caputo live in the Fairfax district where he spoke to neighbors tonight who are understandably upset. Tim. They are upset and actually the homeowner was out here for a brief time earlier this evening. Definitely not interested in an interview. He did say a couple things to me. Clearly upset all the attention that's going on uh, with his property here behind me. Also upset at his neighbors for being the ones who called the city on the mess behind me. But neighbors say this has been going on for years. It's getting worse and they're fed up. The homeowner of this trash filled property came outside to clean up a bit, but even moving a few bags around won't put a dent in the heaps of garbage sitting in his front yard. The home neighbors call an eyesore is sandwiched between two huge multi-million dollar houses in the Fairfax district of LA. It smells awful. It's kind of just a distraction from everything else in the area. In some spots, the trash bags are easily five feet tall, a clear indication this has been slowly growing over time, just like neighbors frustration. The outside of the property needs to be cleaned for sure. And I mean, I can only imagine what it's like inside. On Monday, someone called Council Member Katie Yaroslavsky's office about the property, who in turn reached out to the city attorney's office to see what, if anything, can be done. The city has already taken action on this property before, issuing fines about eight years ago because of, maybe no surprise, a giant pile of trash in the yard. Neighbors tell us the property was cleaned up shortly after that, but the trash started to build up again and say now it's as bad as it's been. Some who live around here but didn't want to be on camera are just as concerned about the homeowner himself. I feel bad for somebody who is a, you know, a sweet person but obviously has mental health issues. The executive producer of the show Hoarders, which features properties that look a lot like this, heard about the house while getting his hair cut around the corner and thinks he could help the homeowner in more ways than one. We have a really impressive crew of individuals that specialize in this type of cleanup. So they can come in and bring all the equipment and everything needed to, to take on a job this big. Courtney Lamarco says he's learned through meeting countless people in similar situations. You also need to address the person who let it get this way or it'll end up like last time, a temporary fix. We provide therapy for a lot of these individuals so they can attack the root problem that's causing this. And Councilwoman uh, Yaroslavsky is saying in a statement tonight that she is, of course, aware of this situation going on here behind me, noting that private property owners do have an obligation and responsibility to maintain those public health standards, but that's not enough. She says she's right now working with city and county agencies to resolve this, quote, with urgency. We're live tonight in the Fairfax District. I'm Tim Caputo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.